Hello everybody, this is Phil from iPodTouchBallet.com. Thank you guys for checking out this video. A popular web browser, Opera, has released a mobile version for iPhone and iPod Touch. Now, it is available for free in the App Store, something that's actually pretty new. Uh, usually Apple doesn't allow that many web browsers um, into the App Store, and they allowed this one in. And in my opinion, this is a Safari killer. I love this thing. I love the Opera Mobile. Now, I've had it on my iPhone for a while. I just went ahead and downloaded it on the iPod Touch. And um, the iPhone really does have it really nicely. And it works well on both devices. So there's Opera Mini, the Opera web browser, for free in the App Store. And just a little side, no side note, it actually is... I'll go ahead and show you this. It actually is number one in the top free if you go to the top 25 section of the App Store. But it's called Opera Mini Web Browser, if you're looking. So let's open it up. The first feature that separates this from, let's say, Safari, is what they like to call their Dial Pad feature. Now, what this allows you to do is set some of your favorite websites as bookmarks on your home page, as you can see here. The reason they call it Dial Pad is because it kind of looks like one. By default, you have these set. My Opera, Facebook, Twitter, New York Times, and AccuWeather Forecasts. This one right here kind of failed at making an icon, but that's YouTube. I added that one. Let's say I wanted to add another one. It's really simple to add something to your home screen, all, all to your home page. All you have to do is hit the plus, enter an address into the search bar. I'm going to go with iPodTouchBallet.com. iPodTouchBallet.com. You can now hit done and it will add it to your home screen. Now it'll do that for a little while and then if it can come up with a preview it will have one. You see there's mine is. And now you have previews on your home screen, on your uh, home page. You can now use these to quickly get to a certain website. Let's launch iPodTouchBallet.com. As you see, it's a really nice kind of animation here as you're loading a page. And there's the site. Let me zoom in here. Yep, there's the site. Now, another one of the big features that it uh, boasts is its um, tabs features. Now, as we know, in Safari, we can have different windows, and it's set by the button that's usually in Safari on the lower right-hand corner, in which you could have, I believe, up to eight or nine windows open at, a, at any given time. Well, this one introduces a better version of tabbed browsing, something you usually find on a desktop internet browser. It is the second button from the right on the bottom this time, so it's this button right here. So let's go ahead and click it and see what happens. It brings up this little bar down here where you have your dial pad or your original home page set as a tab and the second one has a plus sign. The plus sign of course adds a new tab. So we're going to go ahead and hit it. And we have a new tab where we can get into another website. This time I'm going to launch the New York Times. And this is launching in my new tab. If I go ahead and hit, hit, hit the tabs button again, you'll see that now I have three tabs. I have our dial pad homepage, the New York Times that I just opened, and add a new tab. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new one. And this time I'm going to put Twitter. And you can just keep doing this for like a bunch of tabs. As you see right now, I have three real tabs and our plus one. If you want to close the tab, you can easily do so by just hitting the X. really awesome. Another one of the features that sets it apart from Safari is your ability to not be locked into one certain web, uh, one certain search engine at a time. Where it usually just has Google on the, on the uh, Safari, you see you have something that looks a little modified from that. When you click it, it takes up the full space as always, but you also have a drop down. And this allows you to choose from these pre-put in uh, search engines. Google, 
Amazon, eBay, and Wikipedia. You can also manage search engines by clicking that one. And you can, you know, just choose which ones you want to keep and stuff like that. It's really awesome. You can hit back. And yeah, you can continue to search the web and stuff. Now, those are many of the features that you notice right off the bat. But there's still a few more features down here in the settings part, or the wrench part. I don't really know what it would be called. But let's go ahead and uh, open it up. As you see here, there are a few more features. You have your bookmarks, which is normal on a web browser. You have your history, once again, pretty normal. You have a direct link straight to your start page, so that's better if you're on like a new tab. Uh, let's open up My Opera. And you are here. You can easily get back to the start page in that tab. Really awesome. Let's get back to this. You have saved pages. You can actually save certain pages. It's really cool. You have your settings, which gives you different things. You can load images or not to save uh, time and stuff like that. Uh, image quality. You can set your image quality. Whoops. Wrong one. You can set your image quality to like high or medium, low, whatever you want, depending on your internet connection. You can choose a certain fo uh, font size for different websites and stuff like that. You could choose to have the mobile view of different websites on or off. You could have full screen mode on. You could set up Opera Link if you have a Opera enabled computer. If you have Opera on your computer, you could set up Opera Link, which allows you to share your bookmarks and stuff like that between both of the devices. You have your privacy here, privacy settings. You can remember passwords except cookies, clear history, passwords, and cookies, and all that stuff. And also have advanced features, you can choose different protocols, as you see here, HTTP or Socket. And you can also have start page links, all from the settings part. Next up, we have an awesome feature that I'm going to show you guys in a little while, and it's Find and Page. I really love using that on a regular web browser, so it's going to be nice here. You also have Help, which opens up a little navig easily navigable uh, menu which brings you to an introduction page that you originally get when you open Opera and just gives you a quick little reading on what you're going to be uh, getting yourself into and also you have about Opera which tells you what version you have and stuff like that so like I just said there's a really awesome find in page feature now to show you guys that I'm going to go ahead open a new tab and open up a pretty large website like the New York Times now I'm going to go ahead and scroll down on the New York Times all the way to the bottom. Or no, I'm going to get one in the middle. Let's say I wanted the word Warriors right there. All right. Instead of scanning the whole page just reading for the word Warriors, I'm just going to search the whole page and find every possible instance of the word Warriors on this page. Do that, you hit the wrench, hit find in page and type in whatever word. Like I said, I'm doing warriors. I think I spelled it wrong, hold on. There we go. Yeah, I couldn't really see from the angle. But yeah, as you see when I typed in warriors, it showed us that instance that I had actually chosen. If there was an instance before it, it would have showed that one. In which case you use the next button, it just gets in different the next uh, instance of the word. To show you the instances, I'm going to go ahead and use a generic word like uh, the. And it's going to find the first one of the. And I hit next. It'll show me the next instance of the word the. And every time I hit it, it'll show me the, any time that the word the is created. Whether it be a word by itself or inside of another one. So these are some of the features that I found in the new Opera, Mo uh, Opera Mini web browser. Now Opera Mini is a really nice web browser and it really shows a lot of potential. In my mind it's already passed up Safari as my favorite. But that's up for you guys to figure out for yourselves. If you want to have it as your, as your uh, regular one, you can have it. Uh, on my iPhone, which is charging right now, I actually do uh, use it and not Safari just because of all the new features and how everything is really simplistic. So. This is Phil from iPodTouchBall.com. Make sure to comment, um, I guess that's uh, thumbs up now instead of rate, thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And also, in the comment section below, go ahead and comment uh, whether or not you like this and tell me your opinion on this browser. It's really nice, in my opinion, though. 
I'll catch you guys later. Peace.